now we start counting down the corners. Uh, look at that, 146 on the clock. <laughs> wow, 17 corners to yeah. go. Yeah. He was within 10 seconds and having to do two more laps, so. That worked in his favor. That was beautiful. There's Ryan Dial, who has given it everything. Still is, he's not giving up, I guarantee you. All credit to Marino Franchi. A lot of pressure when you get thrown in at the deep end like this. And Oh, he's got a gaggle of cars oh, and the weather tech forces slides. Sliding sideways, trying to get out of the way. Oh, and he drops off wheels and car behind. It's Lee Keane in the weather tech car. You gotta be so careful with these guys. Make sure they know you're there. Don't want, oh, and a big fire in the infield. Somebody's lit something on fire over there. You know, the team are talking to Marino right now, just giving him the gaps, giving him the splits back to Dial, so he knows if he can afford to wait a second or two if needed with this traffic. Road is glowing here tonight. What a spectacle. Yeah, it's great. A lot, a lot of people here watching this event live. Frank Keating's name has been synonymous with success at Ganassi Racing. Now it's his uh, younger brother here. He'll be happy about that, too. Yeah. I'm sure big brother Dario wanted to know all about it. One last time down the back straight. So much effort and frustration at the season opening Rolex 24 at Daytona. This car finished 11th in that race, and that is very much unlike the Ganassi team. You can almost breathe now. Marino can start to take a breath. What a stint by Marino Franchini. This is great stuff. Scott Pruitt said any of their drivers could be the big man when it came to closing time. That man is Marino Franchini taking Ganassi back to the top of the podium at Sebring. Lally crosses, leading the GT Daytona class. On board the GT Le Mans class leader, York Bergmeister. And we await Colin Brown and Bruno Jacquera in that nose-to-tail battle that they had in PC as the fireworks explode overhead. Bergmeister has about four and a half second lead over Bomarito. Through 10, coming up through 11. Nice. There's the 54. Not sure where Jankara is at the 09. But Colin Brown is all by himself, and he will make it two straight in the two longest races of the year for Core Autosport. Wow, what a great day for that group. James Gueye, John Bennett share the victory. Two in a row. That's amazing. The two long distance ones, too. And again, that phenomenal sweep of two classes. There's the 912. Dirk Bergmeister will make it complete. Two for two times two for Core Autosport. Wow. That that's is a, something else. That's a statement, isn't it? How'd you like to go there? Boy, oh boy. 291 laps completed by our race winners. Equivalent of 1,088.34 miles in 12 hours. The race is over. The post-race celebrations have begun. We'll be back to enjoy them with you. Stand by for more for the Mobile One 12 Hours of Sebring, now concluded.